Hey, I'm gonna start this episode off a little bit different because it was another sleepless night of shooting the Aurora, but I wanted to basically ask anyone in the comments if you know what ended up happening that night. So I've shot the Aurora, this is the third time I've ended up shooting it in the Yukon, and something happened that night, and I'll give you some background. So the KP index and the predictions for the storm that night were pretty high, and they had been for days, meaning they knew it was gonna happen on that day. And I ended up going to shoot. You could see the Aurora to the naked eye. You can literally see it while I'm driving to give you an idea of my bright headlights and how bright the sky was. I even captured it on my phone. But something happened that night for about two to three minutes that I don't know what it's called. And so a lot of the times with the Aurora, you can't see the purples to the naked eye, but in this moment, you could see the purple to the naked eye. And most importantly, it almost was like lightning in the sky. It wasn't bright like lightning. I mean, it got pretty bright, but it was almost like it was uh, like little pulses of the Aurora and it was moving all in the sky. I have a few clips of it that you're gonna see. So if you know what that is, please let me know because I've tried to Google it. I've tried to find it. I've tried to search things like Aurora Storm, Northern Lights, um, <laughs> Chaos, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. It has to have a name because it's way different than anything that I've seen before uh, and I, would love to know what it is. So here's that content, and then we'll start my normal day uh, on very little sleep. Hope you enjoy.
beautiful day. Oh gosh, my flip-flops are away. Following a shadow down to the graveyard, want to say a prayer. Ross is doing just fine. Look, it's me. Gonna pay my dues. I've been running wild ever since I left Virginia. Trying to find a face that might be my name. Oh yeah, not a dollar because I can't get my app to work, but only like a dollar fifty, so the value. <laughs> I uh took a wrong turn, so we gotta. Hey, pardon the interruption. I just wanted to say thank you for all the support recently. I've come to the conclusion that the only real way I'm going to be able to make these videos and get to Argentina is with your help. So if you wanted to help me in that way, there's going to be a link down below where you can do that. You can find my Patreon where you can just show support. You can get credit at the end of these videos for showing support, or you can even get postcards from me once a month. You can also check that link out to find calendars or prints. All of it helps. And if that's not something you can do, just liking this video or sharing this channel with people in your life that might be into travel or photography matters. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get back to the video. Goodbye, white horse. Ah, bittersweet. What a beautiful day. I can see the sunlight rising in the mountains on Jan red in the morning sky. I know that the world is ever steady changing. Lord, give me wings. I could fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away, fly Any heart can shatter Like a pane of glass To the wind it scatters And let's go at last It's feeling pretty tired behind the wheel, so we're gonna take a nice little 30 minute cat nap. Hopefully, feel better once I wake up. So, I'll see you soon. I would just like to point out that while I was sleeping, I was covering my eye with my hand, and I have a fingerprint on my forehead. Um, Okay, let's get back on the road. Holy crap, there's a lot of signs. Currently in Watson Lake, which is about a 30 mile-ish detour when you're heading either up to Whitehorse or back down to British Columbia. I didn't come here on the way up, so I thought I would come here on the way back down. Totally worth it, super cool. I mean, just look at all this stuff. I'm currently looking to see if I can possibly find a sign from my hometown. Uh, I don't have a lot of <laughs> uh, hope, considering there's just so many signs to take in. But uh, I'm gonna keep looking for a little bit, give myself about five minutes, stretch my legs, and uh, get back on the road and head back south. Super cool, I mean, just look, like, this is insane. <laughs> Just 
keeps going. Keep going. All right, at this point, uh, I've walked through so many signs, I'm a little worried that I don't know how to get back to where I parked. And uh, I don't see a sign <laughs> for <laughs> the parking lot. <laughs> uh, I'm hilarious. Getting lost in a maze full of signs. Hmm. Title for this video? Probably. Here's our turn on to 37. Hider, 669 kilometers. Sweet. We just passed the porcupine. I tried to get on the camera. But I was filming a rainbow and then I was like, oh my god, it's a porcupine in the road! <laughs> It's been a long day, it's about 11 o'clock, lots of driving. Parked at this lake and there happens to be this street lamp right here, which is, I don't know, random since I'm just parked here in the middle of the woods. But uh, it's making it where I can film this and say goodnight. I'm actually gonna update my live location tonight. So if you're into following, knowing a little bit about my journey or following me, following my live location, things like that, there's the Patreon link down below, like I mentioned before in the video, if that's something you'd be into. If not, you can just like or subscribe to the channel if you've made it this far. Any support helps, so I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. I'm going to hop in the car, get some sleep, get some editing done, and uh, get back on the road tomorrow. So, see you then. Later. Later.